now let us solve this problem solve the recurrence relation s of k minus 3 into s of k minus 1 minus 4 into s of k minus 2 is equal to 4 power k where k greater than or equal to 2 this recurrence relation is not in standard form so first we have to convert the given recurrence relation in the standard form so in place of s use a here we have to write this k in place of k use n and write n in the suffix so s means a so a so k means write in the suffix a n minus 3 into s means a k minus 1 means n minus 1 minus 4 into s means a k means n minus 2 is equal to 4 power k means n where n is greater than or equal to 2 so if we if we observe the recurrence relation here the right hand side part is not equal to 0 we can call right hand side part as f of n if f of n is equal to 0 then it is a homogeneous recurrence relation whereas if f of n is not equal to 0 then it is a non homogeneous recurrence relation so here in order to solve non homogeneous recurrence relation the solution is an equal to an power h plus an power p let it be equation number 1 so h means homogeneous part whereas p means particular solution so first let us calculate homogeneous part so homogeneous part means at the right hand side we have to substitute 0 so here we know the auxiliary equation first let us determine the order or the order of the homogeneous recurrence relation so here we have in order to determine the order we have to subtract uh, the minimum subscript from the maximum subscript here the minimum subscript is n minus 2 whereas the maximum subscript is n so n minus of n minus 2 means 2 so here the first point you have to write is the given recurrence relation is a second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation after that write this uh, general solution so an power h is equal to now we know the auxiliary equation auxiliary equation or characteristic equation auxiliary equation or characteristic equation for the second order homogeneous recurrence relation is so what is the first constant 1 so k square uh, first constant 1 k square minus 3 is the constant 3 into k minus 4 is equal to 0 so homogeneous means we have to substitute 0 at the right hand side so if we multiply we have to get 4k square if we perform the addition minus 3k so we can take as yes, 1 is minus 4 another one is 1 so k square minus 4k plus k minus 4 equal to 0 minus 4k plus k means minus 3k minus 4k into k means minus 4k square so if we observe the first two terms k is common if we observe the second two terms one is common so we can write this as k minus 4 into k plus 1 equal to 0 so here k, k1 equal to 4 k2 equal to minus 1 k1 equal to 4 k2 equal to minus 1 so here the roots are the roots are real and different roots are real and different if the roots are real and different then the general solution is general solution is a into k1 whole power n plus b into k2 whole power 1 here for space constraints uh, i am erasing this portion so here what is k1 k1 means 4 what is k2 k2 means minus 1 so a n power h equal to a into what is k1 4 power n plus b into what is k2 minus 1 whole power n so here the first part is calculated that is homogeneous part is calculated now we have to compute the 
particular solution that is a n power p. So, let us calculate the particular solution a n power p equal to. So, this is nothing but the right hand side part. What is right hand side part? 4 power n. So, this is in the form alpha into b power n. So, here alpha means 1, b means 4. Okay. Uh, if you observe here, here b, here b value is 4. 4 is present in the characteristic root. This 4, here what are the characteristic roots? 4 and minus 1. 4 is present in the characteristic roots. So, here the general solution is a n power p equal to the general solution is a naught into a naught into this we have to write this b power n into n power m. m stands for multiplicity. So, a n power p equal to a naught into b value is nothing but it is given in the problem that is 4. 4 power n into n power m means multiplicity. So, how many times this 4 is present in the characteristic root. So, 4 is present only once in the characteristic root. So, m value is 1. So, what is a n power p? a n power p means a naught into n 4 power n. So, now we have a n value. This is nothing but a n value. Now, we need to substitute this a n in the given problem. In the given problem. So, let us substitute in the given problem. So, what is a n value? a n means a naught into n 4 power n minus 3 into a n minus 1 means in place of n we have to write n minus 1. So, a naught in place of n write n minus 1 4 power in place of n write n minus 1. Next minus minus 4 into a naught in place of n we have to write n minus 2 n minus 2 into 4 power in place of n write n minus 2 is equal to 4 power n 4 power n now we have to common one value here we need to obtain a naught value here here we have the last term is 4 n minus 2 so let us common 4 n minus 2 so that means divide divide LHS and RHS by 4 power n minus 2. If we come on 4 power n minus 2, then this term will be cancelled as well as here we will get some constant value. Nn will be cancelled. So, we will get the constant value. So, divide the left hand side by 4 n power n minus 2 minus 3 into a n naught into n, n minus 1 into 4 n minus 1 by divide by 4 power n minus 2. Next one minus 4 into a naught into n minus 2 into 4 power n minus 2 by 4 power n minus 2. Here the last term contains 4 power n minus 2. That is why we are commoning with that value is equal to what is the right hand side? 4 power n by 4 power n minus 2. 4 power n minus 2. So, let us simplify this equation. 4 power n by 4 power n minus 2. This is in the form of a power m by a power n. a power m by a power n means a power m minus n. So, we can write this as 4 power n minus n minus minus of n minus 2. That is nothing but minus n plus 2. n n will be cancelled. 4 square is nothing but 16. So, we can write this as 16 a naught n minus. Next here we have 4 n power 4 power n minus 1 by 4 power n minus 2. So, 4 power n minus 1 a power m minus a power n. So, minus n plus 2. So, n n will be cancelled. 2 minus 1 means 1. So, 4. 4 into 3 means 12. So, we can write this as 12 a naught into n minus 1 minus 4 power n minus 2. 4 power n minus 2 is cancelled. So, we can write this as 4 a naught into n minus 2 is equal to 4 power n by 4 power n minus 2 means n n will be cancelled. 4 square means 16, 16. So, if we observe these three terms, a naught is common. So, we can common a naught. So, why? Because here we have to produce the a naught value. Uh, that a naught value will be substituted here. So, that we will get a n power p. Okay. 
if he common a naught then here the remaining is 16 n here a naught is common so minus 12 n so minus into minus means plus 12 into 1 means 12 minus a naught is common so 4 into n means 4 n minus into minus means plus 4 into 2 means 8 is equal to 16 if you observe here minus 12 n minus 4 n means minus 16 n 16 n minus 16 n means 0 n so n's are cancelled next here we have plus 12 here we have plus 8 12 plus 8 means 20 so a naught equal to here we have multiplication if we move 20 towards that side then division so a naught equal to 4 fours are 16 4 fives are 20 4, 4 into 4 equal to 16 4 into 5 equal to 20 so what is a naught value a naught value is 4 by 5 now we have to substitute a naught value in this equation substitute a naught value so for space constraints i am writing here a naught what is a naught 4 by 5 into n into 4 power n now we have to substitute let it be equation number 1 next what is a n power h this is a n power h let it be equation number 2 let it be equation number 3 now we have to substitute equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number 1 so now the general solution for this problem is a n equal to this is the solution a n power h what is a n power h a into 4 power n plus b into minus 1 whole power n plus what is a n power p 4 by 5 into 4 by 5 into n into 4 power n 4 by 5 into n into 4 power n so this is the general solution for this problem so likewise we can solve any problem very very easily please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching